Hello everybody, so I'm back at Hazemere Motorcycles today and I have the 2017 GSXS 1000. I've ridden the 2016, uh, there's a few changes they've made in between last year and this year that I'll talk about. Uh, but basically I want to try this out because I recently reviewed the 750 and I absolutely loved it and a few people said, ah, the 1000's better, the 1000's better. Well, let's find out, is it that the 1000's better or is it just that people like something a bit faster? So the difference between the 2017 and the 2016, uh, they've added a bit more power. Uh, the 2016 was 140 brake horsepower, this is 150, though they might have underestimated the 2016's power, to be fair. There are reports of that. Uh, they're accrediting this power gain to ventilation holes in the crankcase. Okay. <laughs> uh, they have fitted this with a slipper clutch to try and smoothen out the downshifts. Uh, they've done a little bit of electronic tweaking. There, there is this thing people say about this bike about a snatchy throttle. Now, when I rode last year's bike, I didn't really notice it. I mean, if you're going from a completely uh, closed throttle to a completely open one, yeah, I mean, of course there's going to be a bit of that. It's injected, but when you get that first bit of take up gone, it's very smooth. And I think that's what people were talking about. And it kind of it becomes a thing that everyone just talks about. You know, they've heard this one flaw, supposedly, and then it becomes something that it, it isn't. That's why I don't watch reviews before I review bikes, because I don't want to be influenced by what others might be saying about it. I want to just see how I find it. If something doesn't stand out to me as a problem, then I'm not going to mention it. I am six foot four, as you may well know, and the, it's comfortable. It's not the biggest bike in the world, uh, but I'm actually pretty comfortable on it. It's not a problem. The upright sink position really helps with that. It does feel a little bit heavier than the 750, which it was going to, but not much. The front end feels a little bit heavier, uh, but again, not a lot. Now, as for a power difference, yeah, I can notice this has got more torque and more grunt instantly than the 750. That doesn't make the 750 bad. You see, it's nice to not have too much power. Not that this is too much, but for me, my personal thing is I prefer smaller engines so you can play with the revs a bit more. This, I'm in fourth, 6,000 RPM, and a slight touch on the throttle. And yeah. Yeah. The clutch is a little bit heavier than I remember on the uh, 750 for sure. Um, and I don't really remember last year's bike, it was too far away for me to give you a good idea, but I, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a firmer clutch, but it's, it's nice, it makes it a little bit more controllable. Okay, my other classic test, put it in sick through 70 miles an hour and see what happens when you give the throttle a good twist. Okay, yep, it's got, it's got some power left. Oh, uh, yep, definitely. I wanna try that in third. Okay, yeah, that's the one! Jesus! <laughs> There's no denying, there is a lot of fun in having that much power. But in the real terms of owning a bike day to day, I still think I'd go for the 750. Right, let's try the slipper clutch out. Yeah, well, it's definitely working. It has reduced the engine braking. There's still a bit left. Okay, I've left the indicator on a couple of times now. This indicator, it's too small. It's quite stiff, and I've, I thought I've clicked it a couple of times, and it's not really worked. It might be just because it's new. It might soften up with a bit of use, break it in. But it is very small. I don't, I don't know why bike manufacturers do that, but it's hardly the worst thing you can complain about. Stock exhaust. Alright. 
So there is no doubt that this bike has a significant amount of torque and power. It really does. When you start getting on it, you feel it. It just like hunkers down and goes in a brutish way. Suspension's nice and smooth, but I don't think they've changed that. So the right, and the, and the seat's comfy. It's, it's got a good squidge to it. So just sitting and cruising is very pleasant. There is also something on this bike that I've noticed that is one of my biggest hates on all bikes. And it's the amount of play in the front brake before it does anything, which I can't show you because I have a van right up my chuff. Okay, so yeah, look at this. Nothing, nothing. It starts working there. I don't like that. There's really very little going on there. And then, yeah. Maybe you'd get used to it. You know, maybe you would. I don't know. change of direction is as pleasant as the 750 to be honest you don't notice the weight here so much you do notice that low down pull though but you find you use so little of it because it, it picks up speed so fast now one of the things about the 750 that I absolutely loved was the way that it turned in and the speed that you would happily carry through corners without thinking about it too much. And it's difficult to say with cars in the way. But you do kind of get that with this too. It's, it feels very, very planted. Suzuki really have done very well with the engines this year. And the fueling. And the chassis. I think I've ridden all of the released 2017 bikes so far and that is the one thing that's, that's really struck me is the engines are just so sweet. I don't find this very often but I've just found on this bike. Right now, no bar vibrations, no road vibrations, complete just smoothness, apart from the slight undulations of the road. These engines are just so well balanced. Now, the one place that I could say that you might want the 1,000, maybe, is if you're planning on doing a lot more miles, like motorway miles, because, you know, you're going to keep the RPM levels down, the engines will be a little bit happier. But that is not to say the 750 can't do that. And in fact, the 750 will probably be more fuel economical. So, even then, this is, without question, though, a very pleasant bike to ride. It's just, to just cruise through the roads like this, it's nice, it's comfortable, it's not jarring, it doesn't feel tiring. You don't need to keep changing gear because you've got that much power. 750's still got that though. I am a bit of a, a smaller engine fanboy. I prefer the smaller engines, it's true. I keep seeing this sticker, I'm like, I want to read it. I don't need to read the finance details while I'm riding along, you fool. I'll pull over in my uh, favoured stopping place, take a picture and have a look at the controls. If you don't follow my social media, look in the uh, description, you can find links to my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. You get a heads up on uh, reviews that I'm doing a little bit before the videos come out. And you can chat there and ask me questions. Okay, so let's have a look at the controls. The key is down here, like last year. Everything is the same as last year, basically. You know, you've got your high beam, low beam, pass light, your mode selectors for your traction control and, and your, you know, your range and your average MPG and your trips and all of that. Revs across the top, gearing position indicator there, miles an hour. Indicates, as I say, this is a tiny, tiny little thing. It's a little bit stiff. I think it'll, it'll loosen up. It's new. Horn? I've never really tested the horns on these before. Oh, it's cute! It's so cheery! Um, <laughs> hazard switch there. Rather prominent position for a hazard switch, but I guess, yeah, I mean, what else are you going to have there? Kill switch starter. Nice rental fat bar on it. Nice clamps, nice simple design up front. Mirrors work well. I mean, what more do you really need to know? It's a very basic bike. And what does it say here? You'd love to spoil yourself and not your bank balance. We get it. 4.9% APR representative. Available on this model. Speak to a member of staff for details. Basically, finance. Side stand. Still a pressed tube. Still quite cheap. Still works. 
Oh, the other thing they did between the 2016 and 2017 is they put black levers and black footrests. Um, it does improve the look of the standard ones, to be honest, because the, the Suzuki levers, they are perfectly good and adequate, as I've said, but you might want to replace them yourself in time. But now they've actually finished them, and it's, it's like a... Um, it is a black, but it's like a thin coat black, so you can see a bit of silver still. And it looks... They look nice. They're a bit long, but then that's... Well, they're not long, you know what I mean, they're standard lever length. Standard exhaust on this sounds pretty good. Um, is, it, is there a removable baffle? No, it's just where it is. I did forget to mention the fact that you can actually turn the traction control off on this. Not sure that's fully advisable, but, you know, just letting you know. It's quick, it's quick. However, I'm still not getting to use all of the engine. And that's what I liked about the 750. You can use all of the engine and not be doing stupid speeds. Now I know I've said I don't like the, the first bit of take up on these brakes, but let's try them once you get there. Because you basically, you hold them to that point and then you apply them and see how that goes. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty good. Oh my god, it's just pulled away in fifth. It's got torque, it's definitely got torque. Well, that was a big one. Fantastic pull out of the corners, that's for sure. It's easy to slow control because you don't actually have to use the throttle at all. The clutch is enough. <laughs> right. Um, I suppose I've got to come up with some form of a conclusion on this, don't I? I think I can now. Now, remember, personally, I prefer smaller engines. I prefer to use more revs and not end up doing, you know, silly, silly speeds. That's just me. People are different. I prefer the 750 because, as I say, it is lighter. I can use more of the engine. And I just I prefer the feel of it. But this is still a fantastic bike. I can't say that I can pick out key differences between the 2016 2017 other than the slipper clutch. Uh, mainly because it was it was quite a while ago that I rode that bike. But this is undoubtedly a very pleasant bike to ride, no questions. If it was a 600 Visa 1000, I could see why people would be like, no, I want the extra power. But it's not, it's a 750, that's the point of the 750, it's a fantastic middle ground. Yeah, sure, if you want if you want a lot more power, if you do a lot more motorway miles maybe, although, and you know, economy's not quite, I don't know, what's the difference in economy between the two? You'll have to look into yourself. But, yeah, it's a fantastic bike, there is no questions, but I still prefer the 750 just for the lightness and the, the more usable engine without doing silly speeds. And here's one of my uh, subscribers just picking up his 750. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, thanks to Hazelman Motorcycles. Um, I'd have that one. But this one is great too. Bye-bye.